Do you know these gays? Do you know these gays? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 moments that made us love Jennifer Coolidge. Anything you could, could happen, what would it be? I've always wanted to play a dolphin. For this list, we're looking at some of the best interviews, speeches, and roles from Jennifer Coolidge, all of which make us appreciate her a little bit more. Let us know what you love about Jennifer Coolidge in the comment section. Number 10, Fiona, A Cinderella Story. There's something I've always wanted to tell you, and I think you're ready to hear it. You're not very pretty, and you're not very bright. Being cast as a villain comes with a lot of baggage. It can be difficult to strike the right balance to become a character the audience loves to hate, as opposed to one they can't stand to watch. I am a very appealing person. Yeah, in your head. Thankfully, Jennifer Coolidge was up for the task in A Cinderella Story, where she delivered a pitch-perfect performance as Sam's evil stepmother, Fiona. You want a cookie? Mmm, it's so moist. This modernized version of the classic Cinderella antagonist asserts power over Sam, not only as her guardian, but also as her boss, forcing her to work long hours at the expense of her social life. There's something stinks around here. And it's not the fish. In spite of her cruelty, however, she is consistently fun to watch, especially after her botched Botox. I can't show emotion for another hour and a half. Number nine. Amber Cole, A Mighty Wind. Folk music isn't for everyone. In the case of A Mighty Wind, it turns out it isn't even for the people in charge of putting on a folk reunion concert. One of these people is Amber Cole, a publicist played by Jennifer Coolidge. Although Amber is a relatively minor character in the film, Jennifer still manages to make an impression with her flawless comedic timing, sometimes without even saying a word. When she does speak, Amber is revealed to have a somewhat Eastern European accent, which doesn't seem to belong to any one country in particular. I'm not a fan of folk music. I yeah, me too. I couldn't care less about it. The accent, along with the character's brunette hair, helped to set Amber apart from Jennifer's other roles and make for a uniquely funny persona. We were together very well. You know, it's almost as like uh, we have one brain that we share between us. Number eight. Sherry Ann, Best in Show. From a mighty wind to mascots, Jennifer Coolidge and Christopher Guest have proven to be a match made in heaven, but few of these collaborations measure up to their first. Best in Show. I feel like I, I just need to really listen to my inner instinct. And um, my inner instinct says, don't go right now. The mockumentary follows a group of dog owners preparing for an upcoming show. Jennifer plays Sherry Ann, the trophy wife of a much older man whose dog Butch will be competing. Yeah, we both have so much in common. We both love soup and uh, we love the outdoors. Over the course of the film, Sherry Ann becomes increasingly flirtatious with her lesbian dog handler, Christy. The pair is hilarious together in an offbeat way, and Jennifer's performance is easily one of the film's standouts. And as it turns out, she's a dynamite in the sack. <laughs> Likewise, I'm sure. <laughs> the movie even has a famous fan in Ariana Grande, who dressed as Sherry Ann for Halloween in 2022. Number seven, that time she was fired through a bathroom stall. Have you ever been fired in real life? It's hard to imagine why anyone would fire Jennifer Coolidge, but the unconventional way in which she was fired from this job just makes the dismissal all the more baffling. On an episode of The Rachel Ray Show, Jennifer told a story about being let go from an MTV gig. She was in the bathroom, and instead of waiting until she got out, the producer came in and delivered the bad news through the stall door. I was like, okay, well, I'll be out. Right. Right. You, know? <laughs> you don't care, but I'll be out in a while. Thankfully, she can laugh about the situation now, and we're sure the show that axed her is kicking themselves for losing out on her one-of-a-kind talent. And the other producer didn't know I had just been fired, and so he's coming out of the way, and he goes, Jennifer, you need to get in your outfit. We're, we're going in like two minutes. And I go, no, I, I don't think we can, because I just got fired. And he goes, oh, we'll take care. Number six, her dream role. 
After an actor wins an award, they're typically interviewed by the press about their current and future projects, as well as their career as a whole. After her win at the 2023 Golden Globes, Jennifer Coolidge was asked what her ultimate dream role would be, quote, if anything could happen. Her answer? I've always wanted to play a dolphin. Not an animated dolphin, either. She quickly clarified that she did not want to simply provide the voice for a cartoon dolphin, but to play an actual dolphin, like Flipper. No, like, like Flipper? Yeah, something like that. This kooky answer is instantly endearing and incredibly unique. And of course, if Hollywood could make it happen, we'd definitely be seated. Number 5. Her support of LGBTQ plus charities Gay icon is a term tossed around a lot these days. Even the fictional killer doll Megan has been given the honor by some. When it comes to Jennifer Coolidge, though, she has more than earned the title. It's because the gays just know how to do stuff, you know? Throughout her decades-long career, the actress has supported several LGBTQ plus and AIDS charities, including Aid for AIDS and the Elton John AIDS Foundation. She has said that this support stems from the many friendships she's had with people in the community, with whom she's always felt a kinship with. It's refreshing to see an ostensibly heterosexual actor give their genuine support to the cause, and it definitely doesn't hurt that her campy performances so often appeal to those within the community. See, I've been making eyes with a very handsome man, and now it's time to land the plane. Number 4. Paulette Bonafonte, Legally Blonde even as a side character, Jennifer Coolidge is unforgettable. I got it. Oh! Oh! In Legally Blonde, the actress plays Elle Wood's manicurist and friend Paulette. The pair often talks about their lives, with Elle eventually convincing Paulette to approach her crush and take her beloved pooch Rufus back from her ex. Tell him, Paulette. <gasps> I'm taking the dog. Dumbass. When we first meet her, Paulette is shy and self-conscious, only opening up when she gets to know Elle better. This makes for a big departure from the more self-assured roles Jennifer is typically known for. But we love Paulette all the same. I mean, what's a girl to do? He's a guy who followed his pecker to greener pastures, and I'm a middle-aged high school dropout who's got stretch marks and a fat ass. Ariana Grande seems to feel similarly, as the memorable manicurist made an appearance in the pop star's teen movie-themed music video, Thank You, Next. Number 3. Stifler's Mom, American Pie Before The White Lotus, many would agree that Jennifer Coolidge's most recognizable role was as Stifler's Mom in American Pie. The character didn't even have a real name, so the fact that people remember her so well truly speaks to the impact of Jennifer's performance. You're dead. This impact eventually translated into the character continuing on her legacy in three of the franchise's sequels, American Pie 2, American Wedding, and American Reunion. Can I help you? Uh, who might you be? I'm Stifler's mom. According to Coolidge, American Pie has even affected her dating life, with the movie's framing of her as the ultimate MILF attracting a whole new kind of dedicated fan. Yeah, I mean, I have to say, I, I, the movie has helped me out in a lot of ways. <laughs> Number 2. Her Golden Globes Monologue If you didn't catch the 2023 Golden Globe Awards, you may have missed out on what is now one of Jennifer Coolidge's most iconic moments. There's no way that I'm going to make it from behind the curtain all the way to the podium without breaking my skull, you know, because of all these overwax floors and stuff. And, um, and I said, I just, I, just, I just can't do it. In addition to winning a Best Supporting Actress award, Jennifer delivered a three-minute-long monologue full of laughs while presenting the award for Best Supporting Actor in a television series. In the speech, she expressed her anxieties about the presentation with endearing authenticity, citing everything from a fear of falling to a fear of mispronouncing names. I was at a dinner party one night with, um, I'm not kidding, I sat next to Bill Bill Nye, Nye, Bill Nye. And every time someone came to the table, I was like, this is Bill Nye, and I Nye. Naturally, this memorable awards moment wasn't a first for Jennifer. After winning an Emmy in 2022, she lamented taking a lavender bath prior to the ceremony, and to the delight of the crowd, danced when they attempted to play her off the stage. And wait, hold on one thing. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. Okay. Okay. 
before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Whitney Taylor Brown, for your consideration. As diaper company heiress, Whitney Taylor Brown is the ultimate Nepo baby. What, what exactly did they do with the diapers? Well, they picked up the diapers in big trucks, and, um, and then we washed them and then gave them back to the people. Presenting at the Evies, Jennifer Coolidge donned a scuba mask to present an Evie for her alma mater. And the winner is Quick Pudding with Judy's Traveling All-Star. Her maximalist home decor, Jennifer's home is just as bold as her performances. photoshopping her dogs into pictures. Who wouldn't want their dog to join them at the Golden Globes? The Masseuse, Seinfeld. Jennifer made her small screen acting debut as Jody on one of TV's most influential comedies. No, no, this isn't good. I can't do this. Why, why, what's wrong? I can't. No, yes, you can. <laughs> no, I can't. Yeah, no, no, come on. I, I know it's something you want to do. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Tanya McCoy, The White Lotus. Who's the lady? This is the Queen of Sicily. Yes. When the White Lotus was in early stages of development, creator Mike White took a vacation to Africa with Jennifer Coolidge. The actress claims that this trip helped convince the showrunner to cast her in the project, in part because of how strange she was. But I think he was sort of amused by how uh, strange I was on the trip. <laughs> like. If true, we have to say we're thankful for her strangeness. The actress delivers the performance of a lifetime as Tanya in the resort hotel-based anthology series. My mother told me I would never be a ballerina, and that was when I was skinny. My poor mother, she, she just couldn't handle her jealousy. She had to take me down. And what's weird is I miss my mother, even though she was a big jerk. In a role that could have easily felt like mean-spirited satire, Jennifer brings a certain life and humanity, making Tanya one of the series' most sympathetic rich patron characters. She definitely still has her moments of absurdity, but you truly feel for her when she begins fearing for her life. Please, these gays, they're trying to murder me. Could make a biche? Si. Make, yeah. Si. Oh, yeah. so gay. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.